Welcome to another episode of Barbecue Travel Adventures. On this episode, we're coming to Mesa Verde National Park. So we flew into Durango. It's about a 40 minute drive down to Mesa Verde. We're gonna go in and check out the old uh, Indian cliff dwellings. That's what this place is known for. And then we're gonna go back to Durango where we're gonna try a place called Sirius Texas Barbecue. Uh, the rental car agent said it's fabulous. We gotta give it a try. So come along and uh, let's go into Mesa Verde and check it out. We're at the Cliff Palace. Uh, we're walking down to uh, check it out. Not sure what we're gonna see, but it should be interesting. So here is Cliff Palace. This is actually, which we did not know at the time, this is actually the crown jewel of Mesa Verde. Uh, it's truly incredible. They had many families living in all these little areas down below this, this rock ledge. But uh, it's quite interesting. Definitely worth seeing. Here's some close-up shots of Cliff Palace with my camera with bigger lens. A GoPro doesn't quite get that close, but uh, pretty fascinating. I guess these little round pits were where they would have fires to stay warm, and you can see the ladders down some of the areas. Really fascinating. Here we have the House of Many Windows, which these rooms are actually across the canyon, as you can see in the video. And then I've got some close-ups. You can see the cutouts of the windows. We're at Soda Point now, uh, trying to get to the balcony house. And this Indian here is selling fry bread, so we're going to try some of this. Don't know what fry bread is, but we're going to give it a shot. So she's making, what do you call this? Fry bread. And what is it made out of? We're, it's made out of wheat flour, a pinch of salt, and baking powder. And it's just like a native Indian type food? Yes. It's been around for how long? It's been, we learned this from the mid 1800s. Okay. From the, um, the long walk with the Navajos. Okay. As a matter of fact, today is uh, Navajo Code Talker Appreciation Day. Oh, yes. sweet. Yes, how many would you like? One, 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 hey. Thank you very much. Yes. I appreciate so, the history lesson on it. That's yes. awesome. Yes. So we're gonna do the Soda Canyon Overlook Trail. Uh, we tried to get down to the balcony house, but that trail's closed. So we were told that this is the way to see the balcony house ruins from this overlook uh, since we couldn't get down the trail. They had it closed off. A lot of things closed just because of the coat. So we're still hiking. It's 1.2 miles. Got to be over 90 out here. I don't know what it is with me and these these weekend trips to places where it's, you know, approaching 100 degrees. You'd think I'd head north, you know, Montana, Wyoming, where it's 70. I guess I'm not that bright, obviously, huh? It's a little warm out here. There's no but, breeze. But we're getting close. Yeah, there's no breeze. It's just a warm. Actually, it's a little muggy, too. There's a lot of clouds in the air, so I think it's, the humidity's a little higher than it was in Moab a couple weeks ago. So here are a few pictures of Balcony House. As you can see, they have actually have a, a balcony outside where you could stand and I guess overlook the valley, which you saw the picture before. So definitely unique, and you can see the ladder in the bottom right-hand corner, which I guess they give tours during non-COVID time. So we finished up at Mesa Verde. We're now out here at Sirius Texas Barbecue. Uh, parking lot is packed. We came by here around 12 o'clock today, and the parking lot was literally filled up at noon. They actually have a drive-through window for barbecue. So we're gonna go in and give this place a try after Mesa Verde. So here's kind of the entrance to the place. Gotta wear your face mask. You see? Face mask. So we're gonna go on in and check it out. Oh, I like it. Oh, it smells delicious. Oh, that smells good. You can smell the smoke. So here's their menu right there. You can actually buy ribs by the bone, which I'm gonna do. <laughs> so here she is. She's cutting up the brisket right now. Oh man, look at that. Woo! All right. So this is our meal. We got our brisket, ribs, ribs like really good looking bark on there. This is our Texas tacos in here. We got a band plan. And then down below, we've got the river. Pretty cool. So far I'm impressed. Hopefully the food tastes as good as the view and the entertainment. So we're gonna start out with some of these cheesy potatoes. Wow, very good. This was 
We got all these different types of sauces, so we're gonna give them a try. Okay, not my, not my favorite. And we got this, I don't know what this is. It's actually got a very unique taste, taste to it. I don't know what that is. Oh, I can't even place it. it it's got pickles in it. Um, then we got this one here. Yeah, that one, not my favorite. So far, um, I think I'm liking the pickle one. And this, I don't, this is bizarre. Huh, sauces I'm not thrilled about, but uh, let's dig into some meat. So we got some brisket here, got no sauce on this. Very tender. I got the smoke flavor. I guess they're using oak here to smoke. Definitely good brisket. That's mustard. You don't even need barbecue sauce. I mean, there's enough flavor, enough smoke in the uh, the edge of the meat, as you can see right in there. You do not need barbecue sauce. Very good. Let's try some of this this stuff that had the pickle in it. Let's see what this tastes like. The barbecue sauces are definitely unique. That's not bad with some brisket. It's definitely got a pickle taste to it. Uh, definitely very unique set of barbecue sauces. I mean, we got this one here. We got cherries in it. We're not even sure what this is, but it's pretty cool. Different. Okay, so we're gonna try rib, no sauce. Look at the bark on that, excellent bark. That's a damn good rib. No barbecue sauce needed. Very, very good. Hopefully you can hear all this over the music. The music's great, by the way. Excellent rib. This place is definitely high on my list. Just the views are amazing, so. So here's what they call a Texas taco. I don't know what meat it is. Looks like it could be pulled pork or something, but oh my. Six bucks for that baby, that's a lot of food. She said, here's more of the sauces. So I got the end of one of the briskets here. I think they should do burnt ends here because their ends of the briskets are amazing. They're just a lot of smoke, a lot of flavor. That is excellent. If they did burnt ends, it would be a huge seller. And I don't think I saw it on the menu. Serious Texas barbecue. So here's the patio. Nice little setup. They actually have a miniature golf course over there. Uh, tons of space, fire pit. Definitely a very cool place to come eat. So we just left. Fabulous place. Uh, this is Serious Texas Barbecue in Durango. Definitely worth the visit. Barbecue was excellent. Uh, Mesa Verde was a good time. So appreciate you tuning on in. Definitely get down here. They usually have a band out in the patio. Great place.